हेलो गाइस वेलकम अगेन वी आर लर्निंग टू कनेक्ट आवर एंड्रॉयड एप्लीकेशन टू माय एसक्यूएल डेटाबेस एंड वी हैव डन टिल हियर वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड अ सिंपल यूजर रजिस्ट्रेशन स्क्रीन एंड इनसाइड मेन एक्टिविटी वी हैव क्रिएटेड अ रिक्वेस्ट क्यू टू ऐड आवर वॉली रिक्वेस्ट ऑब्जेक्ट बट गूगल एंड्रॉयड डेवलपर वेबसाइट सेज दैट इफ योर एप्लीकेशन मेक्स कॉन्स्टेंट यूज ऑफ नेटवर्क it's probably most efficient to set up a single ton single instance of request queue so in today's this video we will create a single ton class to handle all the network requests so the code is here you need to copy it copy it control c come inside your project create a new class i'm creating request handler and then paste the code you just copied you need to import the classes and change the class name so class name is request handler this would be also request handler and for now we don't need an image loader so i'm deleting this import request queue import context object and the constructor name would also be request handler yeah we don't need this part we don't need image loader now so i'm deleting it and this is also a synchronized constructor so change the name it should be the class name here as well and we need to import volley and we don't need this image loader so as you can see this method will add the request object to the request queue and this method will give us the request queue so this is a singleton pattern and it will create an instance of the request queue object and that object will be live as long as the app runs so this is more efficient way to handle the network requests now inside main activity we do not need to create request queue delete this line this line as well now here we will write request handler dot get instance this will take the current activity context as a parameter so we can pass this as we are inside an activity now and then add request to queue and here we can pass the re uh, request object that we have already created it is string request so write it here string request that's it now again we can test the app whether it is working or not so run your app so this is the app let's try again put a name i'm putting ajad khan password 1234 and an email like ajad@gmail.com and hit register user and yes we are getting the success message that means our singleton pattern is working successfully so that's it for this video in next part we will uh, remove the bug we are having like this is accepting duplicate emails and username and it should not happen so i hope that you are understanding the video and if you are not understanding and having any confusions then you can leave your comments in the video and i will try to get back to you as soon as soon as possible so also to support me please hit on the subscribe button and share this video as well thank you and we'll see you in the next video